Our exhibits at the Bronx Zoo don't just exhibit one species, they exhibit species that would be found together naturally in the wild. Congo is basically a six acre exhibit that focuses on the species that live in the Central African rainforest. The Congo gorilla forest features the gorillas as the anchor species, but because it's really a slice of the rainforest, we would show other species that occupy that same habitat with the gorillas. Good, I got him. Oh. We're good? Yep. Our exhibits yeah. don't just okay. exhibit solely mammals. Congo keepers that are used to working with gorillas and okapis now can expand their knowledge and work with and maintain the African rock python also. All right. The rabbit all thawed. Feels pretty good. I work in the reptile house. We work with large snakes on a daily basis. The mammal staff are not always the most comfortable working with some of the larger, more dangerous uh, reptiles. We have in the reptile department hundreds of reptiles across seven buildings. Yeah, I got them. So I come over once a week and work with the senior keepers of the Congo Gorilla Forest. The goal is that I'll be able to eventually take a step back and leave the care of the African rock python up to the Congo keepers. I did not volunteer for this, but um, it's important that we are able to give all of our animals here the best quality of care. So I'm willing to learn if he's willing to teach me. I'm definitely not a reptile person. I'm much more comfortable with the larger mammals. Ear, head, that have hair and fur. Ready? All right, I'm ready. Today, Kate and I are going into the rock python exhibit to feed Trey. So when we first brought up the idea of the Congo staff feeding this python rather than me feeding this python, they were very hesitant. So just standing near me while I do it is a great starting point. Where is he? Oh, is that him there? Yeah. Are we doing it in the dark? No. One step at a time. Turn the exhibit lights on him? Yeah. When they designed this exhibit, they wanted to showcase the thermal imaging ability of pythons. So they have a thermal imaging monitor in the exhibit to give you a sense of what snakes are seeing. So that's why the exhibit is usually dark, but we'll be feeding with the lights on. My biggest issue is going in with him. Well, his size, obviously, they're incredibly strong. Also, he is on the younger side, so he's a very agile, quick snake. Do you want to go in first? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go in first. You can just come in behind me. OK. All right, uh, we have to close this door when we open the exhibit door. Yeah, sure. All right. OK. Hey, Dre. I'll just pull this shut behind us. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to get out. Famous last word, it's Bill. <laughs> hey, Dre. He knows how to read the snake's behavior, but I'm just now learning how, so it's still a learning process for me. Ow, I got bamboo. We were just in with like a huge dangerous snake and you get hit by a stick on the way out. Next time solo, maybe solo. <laughs> I think we're ready. I think I could do it solo. We'll, we'll see. see. Nose? Yeah. Huh? Good girl. Bill's here. Okay. We're just going to go and do the snake. Hello. Hi. You ready? Yes. All right. So you're feeding him today. OK. So today, Kate is going to feed the rock python, and I'm just going to observe. Hello. Modern zoos are moving towards zoogeographic exhibits with a mix of reptiles, amphibians, birds, mammals, all in one area. So. It's important for mammal keepers to be able to care for all the animals within their building, even though their primary focus may be mammals. How are you feeling? I feel good. I've had a good teacher, so I'm oh, ready. Oh, yeah. I think you'll be fine. The animals you work with are dangerous. So he's not dangerous. Yeah, but mine are predictable. <laughs> There's nothing more predictable than a snake. <laughs> Can I just take a peek in here? So 
So I'll just go in this way. Yeah, definitely. If he starts acting funny or moving quickly, just shove the rabbit in his face. Okay. When we're with the carnivores that I'm used to working with, it's protected contact, and this is not. We're going right into the enclosure. So to me, that's more intimidating. Okay. He's still right over there, right? Yep, yeah. he's still right there. Do you have any last questions? No, I think I'm ready. All right, so I'll hang out here. Okay. Good. Hey. Good job, buddy. It's good. It's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. But he was just a little strike. That was good. That was that was really good. No. How are you feeling? I feel good. I feel good. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit of a rush, but I'm good. As of right now, I'm totally comfortable with her taking over the python feeding totally alone. Cool, good job. Awesome, thank you. I've definitely gained a lot more confidence since the first time I went in with Bill. All right, thanks. Anytime. Now I can add it to the list of animals I'm comfortable working with.